Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Ray Roda. Yes chat, yes chat, yes. Today, we are not building socialistic republic. And we are not doing anything else but Ray Roda and of course Stream Raiders. Because that's how we start each and every day. Is it? <laughs> it is our method to begin another day. Right, chat. My apologies for, for slight microphone 
wobble. It, it, it has some issues today for some reason. Anyway, right, chat. First things first. Yes, let's hop into Stream Raiders. And let's begin another battle. And Atrimi, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. There we go. We got a brand new map, at least for today. Uh, tomorrow there might be something different. Knowing Stream Raiders, they will release a patch within next few hours. And it will probably update a new season. Because they do that each and every time, at least so far. So, you can basically see how they operate. Uh, anyway, uh, right, for now we will be stuck on Streamlandia. Uh, we'll see how far we can go. I don't think we will reach this bad boy. Uh, but in case we do, we might get some rewards on our way. Okay, so let's go in the middle. Yes, uh, I, I, I like to be in the middle. And we might go... Hmm. I would love to place a healer, but I need Lancer to be level 10. Uh, in fact, my healer can also level up to 10. There we go. Right, it's going to be a, an easy battle. As you can see, there is only a few opponents and a couple of things that won't move and attack us anyway. Uh, so, chat. Uh, a nice warm-up for, for today's campaign, I, I shall say. Right, chat. It's all on you. Place your units now. And help win this battle. In the meantime, let's hop into our raid order session. Of course, I would like to remind everyone, I am running open session, which means that if you want to join me, all you have to do is to join me on Discord, check out the server details, which you can also find on Discord, join in and wait for your assignment and we will find you something to do because there's always something to do might be not much but there is always something to do right so what do we have here arc 401 waiting with heavy freight train uh, is it fully fueled uh, I, I think i Yes, I, I fully refueled it, so we are not really scared about Yeah, we have nothing to, to be afraid of. 900 tons, come on, give me a break. This thing can easily pull 1600 up to silver. Right, uh, we got those uh, log cars. Uh, one and a well about one and a half tons of coal to to be used uh, that's that's doable that's doable I believe there is one card to spot around Silva but let's not worry about that and there is two oh no uh, not two oh two uh what am I doing uh, 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 204 there we go pulling our passenger train and at this moment It is uh, It is a bit too far. Right, let's switch it to manual. There we go. And let's make sure to fill up water. Uh, 
There we go. Wow, this takes ages. It really takes ages. There we go, 7,000 gallons of water. There we go. Okay, so that's passenger train sorted. We also have... Okay, pulpit is only halfway loaded. Which is a bit of a problem. Yeah, chat. I, I definitely need to think about getting some additional pulpit cars uh, that would operate around Bryson, uh, especially Walker. Because we got additional sidings which we could utilize and load the pulpit. And uh, the problem is uh, we, we had some lags. Uh, the problem is, chat, that it's this very, very annoying climb where you have to go back and forth, which greatly limits the length of the train that you can actually pull up there. I can't remember how, how this arrangement was called, but yeah, th there we go. And we got a few additional sidings here uh, with passing track, just in case we need to run around something. But definitely very, very short consists can go, so we need someone to constantly work on it. We technically have shunters for that. Uh, I could easily utilize ARC-101 or ARC-103. Because due to short length of the trains, 
we could potentially use one of them and pretty much not spend extra money for switcher which we don't actually need uh, due to length of the train that that we can actually use so we should be all right with this we should be all right with this but we need some extra cars and we do not have them and we also do not quite have money for them so my balance shows uh, hello. 1300 dollars hello atrimi uh, so chat we have a small problem here a small yeah it is a small problem swap outfits ooh I got summer outfits. Summer outfit now. There we go. We can let the train go. That is if AI will decide to finally... Ooh. Sunset shades, yeah, the, those are pretty much the nicest shades I got in, in my list. I really like them. Right chap, here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to send this passenger train to its end station, which is Alarka Junction. And as soon as this train gets to Alarka Junction, we will advance time. Yeah, chat, that's what we are going to do. We will advance some time when this train gets to Alarka Junction. And then we'll send it back in the evening. Is there's, yeah, there doesn't appear to be anything to do. At least at the moment. Uh, right, a three me. Mm -hmm. I think there is only one car to spot around Silva if you want to do that. All right. I might as well just wait for the time uh, time jump. Uh, that that might take a um, few minutes. I see that the logs are almost done also at the sawmill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got at least solid 10 minutes before uh, I will okay. do a time leap. Uh, because train has just departed towards Hemingway and I wanted to go past Alarka first. So that's two passenger stops. That's four minutes on its own. Uh, plus transfer time yeah it's it's gonna take about 10 minutes so you should have enough time to go to a uh, paperboard and and move that car to interchange if you want Right, we got logs here, but logs are... Yeah. Nice and quiet, chat. So, chat, uh, we're gonna take advantage of that, okay? Because something urgent came up, 
And I need to take a very quick break. So, I'm going to send us to break. Uh, let me just attach the camera to... To our passenger train. There we go. So you can observe this train making its way towards the station. And I'll be back with you within the next 10 minutes.
All right, everyone, I am back. My apologies for that sudden disappearance. But now I will be back. OK, I will be back and I'm here to stay for for a while, at least. <laughs> right. Let me just fix this. OK, there we go. Right. So our train is about to arrive at Alarka Junction. There we go. Now we got two minutes stop here. Atrimi, how are things going on your end? If I mute myself, I'm not going to be able to answer. So far, so good. So far, so good. So, uh, have you actually moved that car from paperboard? It's almost at the interchange. It's on its way. Oh, you are using 102. Oh, okay. Well, this was the closest locomotive, so that's why. <laughs> oh, uh, it's being sold. Oh, okay. Sorry, then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's not a problem. You can move it to interchange along with the car. 
but yeah, it's been on interchange for the reason. And you could yeah, well, probably check the way back. though. <laughs> yeah. Okay, chat. This train is about to depart. Of course, it's not gonna get far. Because it will stop at the junction. I don't think there is anything in here. Yeah, I think I removed everything. It's only one car that's provides mining supplies but that will and that is it pretty much Oh wow, we actually used 1,000 gallons of water just to get to Alarka Junction, oh my days. go let's now place this train where it belongs and the car has been delivered are we ready Okay, perfect. Uh, just a second. Okay, I think the pole port will be ready now. The what? Pole port. I don't know what you mean by that. <laughs> uh, it's at Connolly. There's okay. 10 pull pot cars that were loading. Oh, throughout. the cold wood. Okay. But I must.
There we go. And we can pick all the stations that we will visit. Okay, chat, the battle is ready. We got thirty nine units. So let me just finish this shunting operations, which shouldn't take too long, really. I will then send the train to start its journey. And we will sort out this battle. It shouldn't take long, really. Okay, that, that, that was rather hard done. Okay. There we go. And now we can jump into Stream Raiders. Okay, so uh, let's put. Uh, we want defensive spell now. We want offensive spell. There we go. Let's increase our attack. And that's pretty much it. Chat, with this crowd, we can't lose. Yeah, that was quick. There we go, chat. Congratulations to everyone who took part. And let's go to another battle. This time I will place my Lancer. Because I need those scrolls. There we go. And the rest is on you, chat. 29 minutes to prepare for another battle. Do your best. In the meantime, we got nice dark evening. Passenger train is now being loaded. We don't really have any passengers waiting. Each car has minimal number. I got nothing to do at Bryson. There is some work around with here, yeah? but I believe Atrimi is dealing with it. Yes, he dealt with it. Go. 
go. Check things at Dillsboro. I don't think there will be anything. Oh, there is one car. Might as well get it where it belongs. this truck we need to extract VGN 15.
Wonderful. Now we can place those three wagons back where they belong. There we go. Now let's find a handbrake. That's where it is. Perfect. There we go. Now we can pick up VGN 32232. You know what would be quality of life improvement? If the cursor would have a small light source attached to it. So that when you are moving it over something, it slightly lights up the area. That, that would be a massive quality of life improvement.
Okay. Okay, this is also isolated. Perfect. So this train is routed. And then we can reverse it back to this cut and eventually attach additional cars. Honest chat, I, I'm not sure if I will be able to fit everything on only two tracks. Mm, this might be difficult. Have a look at Connelly. All that pull put is now heading to it here. Passenger train arrived at Bryson. There's only 21 passengers for Alarka Junction, but obviously they won't be picked up today. Because there's not going to be any other trains heading towards this direction. This is the last passenger train of the day. now running around Pulpwood and then it will be pushed towards 401 nice and easy chat nice and easy
case my microphone is picking up something and I can't establish what it is picking up I just can't see it on on the feedback from the microphone and It's really weird. It's really weird. Maybe it's the sign that the microphone is about to go. Hopefully not. This is happening. We need to figure out one thing. Hmm. Which one is which? I, I always keep forgetting which one is which. I want to get some additional full foot cars, but I want to get those. Class F50, okay. Just the standard ones are 40 feet, yeah. So I could use additional 10 plus F50s. Let's have a look at their price. So for 10 additional cars. I would need to have $8,640. We can think about it after midnight, uh, but let's have a look. Uh, uh, one day and three hours. So tomorrow at midnight, I need to have $1,480. Yeah, that, that would be all right. I see that I tweet here. There are two cars left to go to Silva. Do you want me to get them before putting on the cold wood? Uh, yes. If there is anything that needs to go to Silva. Oh, well, in fact, there's going to be a third one. There's going to be a third one before midnight. Gonna have to wait a little. And I, I'm not sure what at what rate it is being unloaded. Uh, but yeah, the third one has only 3.7 tons metal stock. Uh, so it would suggest that it 3.6 now. Hmm. Yeah, so it's less than 60 minutes and it should be ready. Uh, 
but yeah, uh, ideally I would like to pick up all three of those cars. Yeah. And get them to silver. Oh wow. Sawmill is literally just eating through those uh, lock cars. Like literally within the time that you spotted them and now four and a half cars have been unloaded. Yeah. But at this at the same time where well, you did the time jump as the cars were empty. So it's filling up the pond right now. Yeah, but why is it emptying the pond if, if there's nothing to be loaded? I, I thought it shouldn't be eating to uh, into I mean, because it's uh, it's doing production anyway. I mean, I, production I thought this... that will be ready to be loaded uh, during the next day. Oh, I see. Kind of, kind of like the um, the different industries where you bring up some. Um, some first materials and then an empty car so it's during the first day it's producing and during the second day it's loading the the products okay but uh, can i actually check how much they produce uh i don't it, i don't it, think it, there is a way at least not yet so what it will like indefinitely stock up products that wouldn't make sense yeah. I mean, well, I, I usual... get what they try to achieve, and, and that's fine, but it would be nice that you can actually completely... Oh yeah, it, it has only 96% logs in storage, oh my days. Yeah, so once that number is going to be at 100%, uh, the log are going to go slowly into the lake. Yeah, but I would love to see how much ready produce it has. Usually, the number of cars you're gonna get the next day is the number of produce uh, of produced goods uh, is uh, is there. So basically, the more we will deliver throughout the day, the more cars we will get the next day to load. Yeah. Holy moly! So we can actually completely destroy our operations. <laughs> There is still a limit on what the sawmill is going to take. Which is? Uh, if you look on the... Um, if you go into locations, sawmill, you're going to see that it consumes 30 cars per day. So you will not be able to give it more than 30 cars. I think it will easily eat more than 30 cars. Well, according to, uh, to the stats, it's not supposed to, but maybe it does. Like, when it was saying 12 cars a day, I've been feeding it like 16, and it, it was like constantly eating that. Well, anyway. I think we will need to do a small time jump, do we? Yeah. J just give me a sec. I think I have just enough um, coal to be loaded in my tender to ooh, empty the um, the coal car at the, at the refuel station. Oh, yeah. Uh, that would be brilliant. Also, I need to put back the switch. Oh, speaking of... Jumping. Chat, I got this guy. Right, chat, so the plan is... Yeah, it's reverse 20. The plan is now... I need to obtain additional 10... 10 class F50 cars. No, 9 class F50 cars. And one 40 feet. Okay. 
there is a reason for that. There we go. Now we can go to the verse. That can stay. I think you can do the one hour jump if you want. Okay. And it's done. Yeah, it's empty. Okay, good. Oh, chat. The battle is ready. Let's hop into that. Again, I will boost my offensive. Uh, I will boost our offensive power. Look at this beautiful circle chat absolutely amazing you wonderful beans right let's start the battle go congratulations everyone and now let's carry on another battle another adventure and another epic loot and rewards there we go i shall place my healer uh let's let's go in here there we go right in the middle there we go and the rest is on you chat as always, place your units and help me and help yourself win some epic rewards. Right, chat. Sit down in my chair properly. Fantastic. Right, let's get back to game. Awesome. Right, uh, so the plan is now in this darkness i will extract this bit entire cut literally and push as many wagons as i can onto this siding and then i'm gonna push this all the way to the end there we go that's that's gonna be my PZ. You can't place it any further, but 
we will try to push things all the way to the fizzy, which is literally right at the end of the siding. So that we can make some space for the freight train, which is currently being assembled by Atrimi. Uh, Atrimi, can you make sure that passenger train can go through Whittier? Just did. Perfect. There we go. My apologies, chat, for some humming noise in, in the background. For some reason, my microphone is picking up something today and I can't get rid of it. Yeah, it's... I think it might be the sign that this microphone is actually going. Or maybe it's not a microphone. No, yeah, I, I think it might be a microphone. I've been using it for quite a few years now. And it is still a good microphone. But I'm thinking about something different, yes. Hang on. Uh, yard reverse, then there we go. We might have placed that other fusee too far away. Also, we can select this one. So I can actually see which cars. Have the handbrake on. Some of them do, some of them don't. Oh, I see. It's only them two. Okay, road forward 15. And let's pull it out a little bit further than we need to. Okay, now let's reverse and try and squeeze up as many cars as we can.
There we go. this as close as possible. Ah, oh, switch against all oh my days. Okay, I, I got two trains on the move on the same track. That that can't end well. That's exactly what I wanted to do. go Almost there, chat. Almost there. Whoops. Uh, no, 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 no. Yard reverse 20. Oh, no. H how did I manage? Uh, how did I do that? Oh, chat, I'm dumb. <laughs> I was supposed to leave that car behind.
There we go. Perfect. Wonderful. Right. Uh, silver. Let's hop into silver and first things first. Oh, okay. That's that's fine. I need this switch. There we go. Atrimi, how is the train going? Almost, uh, almost fully set up. I'm just gonna grab the last car, and uh, you'll be able to go. Perfect. Okay, finally.
Right, you're good to go. Alright, chat. Looks like train is now ready. More or less. Gonna give you a push. And I don't really need additional locomotives on this one. Yeah, no, just until you're out of the yard. <laughs> just for the start. Oh, I, I'm not sure if, if this is going to work. We'll see, <laughs> I guess. Okay, it seems like it might be working. Easier departure. And there you go. Right, I think now you should be ready at Silva because there's gonna be some cars to be shunted. Yeah. That full port needs to be. And then I'm, go I'm switching to. Okay, so yeah. All that pull port needs to be placed in the right uh, spot as soon as possible. It's actually amazing that today, in the game time, there were two heavy trains and they are full. <laughs> like the previous one was around 1800 tons and this one is 1779 tons. Yeah, big boys. And tomorrow it's going to be even worse because there's going to be additional cars. <laughs> we'll tackle it. Anyway, chat. Heavy freight train is now on the move. 401 is heading towards interchange. Uh, 203 is currently waiting for its arrival. And until then, we pretty much have nothing else to do. Oh yeah, and there's 204 heading to Dillsboro and Silva. Um, but this one is going to just finish there. The only thing I might actually do about it. If I would jump to Dillsboro, I might... I might stop it here so I can refuel.
uh, chat. It's going to be very, very busy day tomorrow at, at my railway. It's one of the last days when we can enjoy some silence at this time. Because I can guarantee you that tomorrow we will be very, very busy. Also, chat, I would like to remind everyone that this is an open session and anyone who wishes can join. The details are on my Discord server. Also, during the session, you are required to be on voice chat. You don't have to say much, but communication is the key. Just a bit more. Ah, now I overshot. Okay. Uh, let's do it in manual mode. Uh, let's select this one. Let's reverse it. This should be good. I really need to learn where I should be placing uh, that fizzy. That would be dope to just place it, wait for the train to stop, start refueling, and at the same time, load passengers. 
that would be efficiency. Ideally, I would love if developers would teach uh, AI engineer how to do exactly that. Because Dillsboro has a perfectly placed water spore to actually do that. So whenever you are passing through it in direction of Silva, that's exactly what AI engineers should do. If your train is long enough, it should stop literally under that spore. So you can refuel if you want while your train is being serviced. Now we can just remove that. Road forward 45, there we go. All right, chat. The battle is ready. Look at this beautiful crowd. Let's bless everyone with some additional offensive uh, capabilities and let's watch this battle go beautiful oh yeah also uh, one thing that i noticed ah uh, the balance of my microphone is off hmm. okay let, let's go to this unknown level challenge i have faith in you chat and we don't seem to have anything on our way that that would be too difficult. I shall place my Lancer again. Uh, potentially, yeah, right next to that charging mining mech. And the rest is on you, chat. The rest is on you. I'm counting on your help. Meanwhile, let's get back to Ray Roda. Okay, so now we are just waiting for, uh, for the strain to reach Silva. Speaking of the devil. And 401 is about two miles away from Dillsboro, which leaves us with just enough time to run around.
There we go. Now we can reduce that to 15. And let's quickly run around this train. Okay, so the passenger train is ready. Now it can wait for the morning. That is when the next train is scheduled. You can see that Atrimi swapped the marker lights too bad you can't turn on this uh, headlight on spotter cars or observation cars there we go
change, which is too far. Okay, so everything is now ready. Okay, for some reason, 401 is always slowing down quite drastically for this bit. Which is not ideal when you are running very heavy freight train. Hey Bisco, welcome to the chat. I hope you'll have a great time. I'm glad that you like this whistle. And I also like it, that's why I picked it for this particular locomotive. Not all of them have the same whistle. I'm trying to change things around. But for now, ARC 401 is the better of one of the best whistles that I could find. And that also includes uh, whistle mode. Go. 
We are almost at Silva. Uh, Trey, so in my real life, well, in my private life, I'm not associated with railways. I like railways, uh, but, you know, I never managed to get a job with them or work with, uh, with the railways uh, in, in my professional career. Uh, I like playing games about uh, railways, uh, mostly simulators which you can find across my channel uh, both here and on YouTube uh, I sometimes jump into city builders and tycoon games like city skylines uh, city skylines 2 uh, recently I've been running uh, workers and resources of Soviet Republic uh, I used to do transport fever 2 uh, so, in general, yes, in games I, I really like the topic of railways and uh, transport management in general. And, and that's what you will find on my channel mostly. Sometimes I will jump into something completely different, like PAL World, uh, which I also enjoy personally. <laughs> and, and because of that you will find it on, on my channel, especially here on, on Twitch, every now and then. Uh, but main topic of uh, of my content is simulators and rail simulators to, to be exact oh yes I, I know about it I even have the license for it uh, in fact last time I, I did something about run 8 was about two years ago I never got fully into it mostly because you really need to learn a lot, at least in my case, I would really need to learn a lot about uh, American railways and how they operate, especially in, in its current state, to fully jump into one of those uh, servers where people role play and start moving those big rigs around. Uh, it is something. It, it is something I would like to do at one point, but uh, the thing about me is that I chronically lack time. And, and there are many projects I would like to get into. And Run 8 is on that list because it's fantastic simulator. I love it. And uh, Ray Roder is actually taking a lot from Run 8. Uh, but... It's, it's that learning that I need to do and, and time that is required to do it uh, that actually stops me from fully jumping into it. Uh, but yeah, if you would search my YouTube channel, you would probably find some uh, old videos that I made about Run 8. 
and yeah i really enjoyed it i really enjoyed it and definitely at one point i will be coming back to it right uh right train should now be there we go Oh, I see. Atrimi already did a rolling the couple. It normally takes me about 8-12 hours for a run. Well, uh, I don't blame you. Uh, I think I got three maps. Uh, is it? The one that you start from. I can't remember uh, which one was it. Oh... I can't remember which one was the starter map. Uh, then I got the desert one. Ah, there we go. Yes, so I got Barstow. Uh, I got that... Uh, what is that? Uh, yeah, there's that desert that's uh, connected with Barstow. And then you go... All the way to... Oh, I can't remember. It's been ages. I can't remember if I got Kajan Pass. I think I got the other branch. Because you got two branches. Uh, you got Kajan Pass. Or Kion Pass. That goes onto the left. And then there is a line goes going to the right through the desert. And I got the desert one. I can't remember if I got Kajan Pass. I, I might have bought it. Or I was planning to buy it. Yeah, I should have needless sub. And then it goes all the way to another major city uh, from Barstow. Oh, I can't remember it. I would really need to look on the map to, to tell you exactly what DLCs I got. Bakersfield... I definitely got Bakersfield. I had Chappie Pass. Uh, I, I think I might have it. I, I, I will have to look in, into it. Honestly, it's been ages since I played Run 8. Yard reverse 20. There we go. Oh wow, it, it's been so long since I played Run 8. Honestly, I, I can't really check right now, is it? Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I, I can't even remember how to download things. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Ah, there we go. So, so I definitely got uh, Mojave subdivision, needless sub, because that's included in uh, in the base. Uh, Uh, I think I had Bakersfield. Yeah, I should have Bakersfield. I can't remember if I had Kajun Pass subdivision. San Bernardino, I, I don't think I have it. And Selling Mon Subwest, that, that's definitely something I don't have. Uh, I would need to double check my... Uh, how do I check my... Probably in my email, is it? Now, which one is it? That's the question. Hang on. Uh, uh, uh. So I got Run 8 Train Sim V3, okay, that's that's for sure. 
I'm going to uh, run 8. I'm fairly sure that I had... Okay, okay, you need to save your installation. I, I got it. Oh, but I can't remember whether I had something else. Honestly, I, I, I can't really remember. The Mojave is the Hachapi. Oh, there we go. Oh, Tankist, hello. Welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Right. Uh, what's going on here? And why is this not... Pass. Uh, see, uh, when it comes to pronunciation of uh, of some American names, I know uh, like some names come from uh, like an Indian language. Is it? Uh, I, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, they, they have some weird names. There we go. We are fully connected. Spanish already. Ah, oh, there you go. See? Yeah. So many different countries have their basically roots in, in America, or basically America has roots in so many different countries around uh, Europe, because basically that's, that's where people came to America from. Apart from native Americans. That's yeah, you got so many different languages mixed in. Oh, God. I, I, I would never be able to, to pronounce it. <laughs> anyway, chat. We have finally delivered some freight to Silva Interchange. Wait, you finished with all of them? Yes. Are you joking me? No. How are you shunting that quick? I don't know. <laughs> what the hell? Well, this is some good performance here. I'm used to manage uh, my whole map alone, so I guess <laughs> one. Uh, I mean, I also manage my easy. map alone, but <laughs> how are you doing this this quick? I won't be able to tell you because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see you later, Trey, and I'll catch you later. Uh, don't forget to join my Discord server. Don't forget that I'm running open sessions uh, when I run Rayroader, so you can find the details in my Discord. And I'll catch you next time. Have a good day. Right. Uh, right, 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 right. Uh, let me just get 401 to Dillsboro Yard. And we will go to the next day. There we 
go. So now we have to wait. Ah, in fact, I can follow this one. Right at three me. Let's go. Are you are you there? Uh, yeah, in, yeah. It, interchange is at capacity. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> I mean come on, I, I got only thirty eight cars. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, I will be introducing new organization uh, for now. Okay. So, outbound train, you need to assemble it at Dillsboro. At the yard. Okay. So, all the cars needs to go there. I will place ARC 401 on one of the sidings. Uh, so you can connect to it. Have you seen the numbers of cars going to Somil? I mean, I, I better not see it. Jesus! One siding is just Somil. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, remember, I need to place pulpit as soon, uh, those empty pulpit cars need to go onto On uh, the back, yeah. at the back, and they need to go with the first train. Uh, well, they will go to Somil because that's pretty to, that's pretty much all the things you have. I mean, there should be some cars for Bryson as well. Uh, there are some for Dillsboro. Uh, this so, one, I don't remember exactly where the... Let's Isn't there anything uh, for Alarka Junction, well, for example? No, nothing. Oh, shoot. Uh, what time is the second servicing? Usually it's four hours later. Four hours. So at eight. So it should be around eight, yeah. Okay. And if you have some uh, stuff to deliver to the interchange, you should probably do it as well. I don't have anything to deliver to interchange. I, I see some stuff here, but for example, if you already have a few um, a few cars that you want to bring, you can uh, you can do that. And as the interchange gets a second delivery, it's going to take away those cars as well. Yeah, the problem is I got nothing to deliver at the moment. It's the first time I got full interchange at the beginning. <laughs> so we don't have any backlog built. Uh, chat, I am aware that the new battle is ready. Uh, let's let's do it. In fact, look at this beautiful crowd. Oh my days! Right, let's boost your offensive power and let's begin.
There we go, chat. Outstanding performance. Okay, uh, since... Uh, this one went so good. Let's go to this one. Beautiful. Right. Uh, I will place my healer. Oh, now, now we got massive amount of units to defeat. I shall place my healer here. You guys can vibe around it. Let's vibe. That's the plan, chat. That's the plan. The rest is on you, chat. Right, let's get back to our railway. Oops, I, I might have overdone it. Right, let's go into manual. water okay so who is with me in the game at the moment uh, is it only a three me yes a three me so tank is didn't join yet Have a look at the interchange. Wait, how is this at capacity? Are you joking me? The core car is uh, blocking the way for the last uh, line. <laughs> oh, now I understand. So we need to put it at, at the very end. Yeah. Why didn't you told me? Because I thought you knew. <laughs> I had no idea that we need to place it in, in specific spot on, on the <laughs> siding to not block the whole thing. Like, literally, we could have fit additional 20 cars on, on this. Mm. Well, now you know. <laughs> also, Slay, Mika and Schist also goes to Whittier. Uh, because that's Wilmot. Yeah. I remember about the Wilmot stuff. Man? What you moving? There we go, passenger train is on the move.
There we go. Well, the tower just went crazy on live. <laughs> what? I don't know what just happened, but your avatar just went left, right, left, right, completely crazy. I don't have any train to assemble it. What do you mean? I'm just picking up one side, linking up to the other, and just go. <laughs> yeah, m make sure to put things in the best order you can, so it's easier to maintain at Witcher. Yeah. But it's already pretty much in order. Only thing I'd have to move is the the Wilmot stuff. No, this borrow, I mean. I'm in the wrong turntable. I think you can just come back and pick up your train from Silva. That would work. <laughs> nah, you have to deliver it to Dillsborough. <laughs> I need to save fuel. Have more than enough. <laughs> Thank you. 
knowing that you're only gonna go to wait here. <laughs> yeah, but then I have to come back, etc., etc. <laughs> You know, it, it, it's it's not that easy. Uh, besides, you got constant access to fuel as a switcher. Well, just half of it because my fuel is all the way at this borrow. Yeah, and my fuel is all the way wherever. The problem is that I might be in the wrong spot, so I want to make sure that I have all the fuel that might be needed. You have more than enough. <laughs> Besides, I paid a top dollar for that fantastic yard at Dillsboro and we need to start using it. So all the outbound trains has to be assembled there. That applies to future trains as well. Well, the interchange it... is going to be empty right now, so... <laughs> Good. Okay. Well, you still need to go to interchange. Uh, go to this borough. There is one car for interchange. Fair enough. See? So now you have no excuses. The well, train is too big. I'm not going to be able to pick up the, the pop wood cars. Well, then do it in two runs. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do. Also, if I stop, I'm never gonna be able to go back. <laughs> Start back. <laughs> oh, you can always cut it in half. <laughs> Uh, so we reached the point when freight trains are a bit long. Just slightly. Slightly? You got 38 cars on you, <laughs> is it? Uh, like that That's going to be 50 car long, long train <laughs> heading to Whittier. And that's pretty Oil much... switcher just pulling like a 1400-ton uh, 1, car <laughs> train. At the moment? Yeah, right now. <laughs> Nearly <Wait>. 1400. <laughs> that... Oh my days. <laughs> and I just have to remind you that most of it is so many cars and they are empty. Well, now this is what I call busy.
That is properly busy. Uh, the switch is lined uh, against. Yeah. Damn it. Because I don't know if you noticed, but the passenger train is gone. I was wondering why I got 16 grand and, and then I realized, oh, I, I, I just sold a locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest, Sawmill paid me $4,444 for, for yesterday. Nice, all awesome same numbers. And that's and still... Yeah, told me that's, it's, uh, it's a money maker. Yeah, and, and that's still not the most we can make out of it, but obviously... Oh yeah, I, alre I already got over 5,000, so yeah. Yeah. I mean, we can go even further, but someone would have to constantly keep it supplied, and I don't have a person to constantly bring cars back and forth. Because it's not only Connelly Creek, uh, but we're talking Bryson as well. Uh, but I don't even have that many cars. I got 16 uh, skeleton cars at the moment. And I, I'm not planning to buy any more at this time. Speaking of buying new cars. I just realized that my train is actually pushing my character. <laughs> You got additional 10 cars to plug to this freight train. Will do. Yeah. And, and you can mix the them with pulpwood cars. Yeah. And uh, even though they don't have destinations set, I'll set them later. Let's do this. Chat. Now we are starting proper wood cutting operations. This Bryson team is getting some extra goodies. All that goes to Bryson. Well, with some exceptions, uh, because I need to clear the way builds. Yeah. 
click on the last button if you want them all to switch uh, to nothing. I did that. Doesn't work? Ah. Well, at least it worked for the first one. Guess we're gonna have to do it for each. Well, now I want you to nicely mix them <laughs> with types. I got 10 of each type of wagons and they and I want them to be properly mixed. <laughs> uh, you don't have to mix skeleton cars. They need they have to be grouped actually. Uh, but yeah, the pulpit ones, you can actually mix them. Or you can group them, it's up to you. Oh, and I almost forgot. Because we are making some changes. I need those skeleton cars and, and 10 out of those pulpit cars to be at the front. And then remaining 10 has to be at the back. So you can push first 10 right behind ARC 401 along with uh, skeleton cars because that goes to Bryson. Well, you you actually barely fit onto the yeah. siding. You might want to split it into That's the remaining two. I will then collect it from the front with ARC 401. Remember to add 10 cars to the first cut when you pull it into into the siding. Uh, can you repeat that? I'm not sure I understood. So when you pull everything to get the back of the train into one of the sidings, mm -hmm. set it to yard mode and tell the AI engineer to do additional 10 cars. Because you need, you will need that space to attach ten pulpit cars at the end. So that's going to be the last oh, cut, see. yeah. I see. And okay. then the next cut, you push it to the siding next to me, and the front cars needs to be attached directly to the locomotive. Otherwise, you won't make it. We got only three trucks to use. Oh, and obviously. If I will be picking things up one by one, if I mess up the order, because you put it in the wrong order, then the whole train will be messed up and there will be more work at Whittier. I know, I know Atrimi, I am a very difficult person to work with. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to do it. That's just it. <laughs> the skeleton cars and cold and ten cold woods are gonna go behind the loco. Yes. The um, sawmill stuff then. 
So you need to make yourself a space to, to be able to push things forward. Or cars forward into 401, which is already standing on the first truck. Yeah. Okay, I, uh, I have my... Uh, I, I know how to do it. <laughs> I have the way to do it. <laughs> Perfect. Remember that with second servicing, I... you will need to prepare the same stuff here at Dillsboro. Because obviously yeah. 401 won't be here at that time. Okay, you're in the siding. You can do 10 more. Uh, no, I, I don't need to. Uh, I, I, uh, I have my way. But your train will be ready in the order you want it. <laughs> okay. Just need to move forward a little more. doing what is it not moving yeah no <laughs> uh, switcher has that problem sometimes when you change directions all right it's filling up uh, it's the brake line that was not filling up but now it's doing it so it should be going hmm. filling it slowly though yeah there we go Right, chat. See, so that's going to be our daily operations from now on. Heavy freight needs to fill up fuel. And then... Switcher, which is local to this area, will have to assemble the train. So we got pulpit cars. At least for today, we got additional pulpit cars. Uh, normally, we might have a little bit less. Because things around these sidings will rotate from now on. As we got extra pulpit cars that will be loaded at Bryson. Along with some additional cars. Um, well, additional skeleton cars that will also be loaded at Bryson, uh, which also gives purpose to 101, which will be designated shunter for Walker. We don't really need heavy shunter there, because we will be climbing up with empty cars. And you can't take long cuts. It's going to be maximum of four or five cars that you can take. Because then you will run out of space as you need to go back and forth in order to climb. All right, while I'm here, I'm going to refuel. Passenger train got stuck at 
signal. I need to make sure that this is not going to happen again. Okay. This one's ready. And so far is now on the move. Perfect. Right, uh, chat. Oh, the, the battle is ready. I can just hop into it. Nice one. We got 72 units. Chilling. Let us begin. There we go, chat. All the enemies have been defeated. Perfect. And we should have time for one more battle. And whether we are going to finish with this one or not, uh, it depends on Stream Raiders. If they're going to start a new season of something tomorrow, we will start a new season of something. And if they want, we will continue with this map and throughout other maps. Right, chat. So, the last battle of today's stream is about to begin in 30 minutes. Chat, 30 minutes. That's how much you got to place your units and help us win epic loot and rewards. In the meantime, we shall get back to our operations. We still got about 30 minutes. So, I am hoping that Atrimi will actually at least assemble this freight train. And whether that's going to happen or not, we'll see. We'll see. But what I'm sure of is that tomorrow, when we will continue this gameplay, whoever's going to be at Whittier will have a very, very busy day. I can tell you that. Oh yeah, that's going to be a busy day.
204 is at Whittier. Yeah. And we should have just enough time for it to make it to Alarka Junction. Oh yeah, by the way, chat. Yeah, we got 100% performance on sawmill. But, on paperboard, we can now go to tier 5. Now go to tier 5. This thing uses 7 cards a day. I'm sure I can deliver more. Parson Stannery, Colin Lumber, that's level 5, 5. Slay Mecha, tier 5. Chat, we are cranking everything to tier 5. Farm supply. Walker logging. Oh, there is only one pulpwood spur, and that's the one. Is it? Uh, 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 uh. Lower pulpwood. There we go. We can fit two cats. Hopefully, each of them will fit about five cars. Then lower logs and upper logs. Yeah, we can we can deal with lower logs, uh, but it's only one lower pulpwood that that we have available, and that's about four and five cars length. So we might not be able to load the whole thing. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, Appalachian Hardwoods, we can't upgrade that. Lumber and Coal, we can't do anything here. We can't do anything in here. And Robinson Gap, we need to wait for additional two days before we can do something at Robinson Gap. Oh yeah, uh, Atrimi. Mm -hmm. It just reminds me, the next cut will go to Robinson Gap and Alarka Junction. That's going to be a large one. So I hope you are ready for tomorrow. Because <laughs> there's going to be a big train to assemble. True, true. So do you want me to... Mix up the pulp wood cars. Yeah, you can mix them up a little bit. Or you can group them together with the types. Uh, in fact, you know what? 
the long ones keep them at the back of the train they will go to Whittier and the shorter ones uh, send them to the front uh, because we don't have that much space to load at Wilmot uh, Wilmot? no, Walker there's, in fact there's only two tracks there okay will do then perfect They will probably mix themselves, eventually. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, chat. So all the contracts that I could are upgraded to level 5. Also, uh, this needs to be done. to L1 and then there's stuff going to L3 not applied any handbrakes. go and now let's go to Connelly Creek and I need to go there beautiful
are you now grouping them together? go There we go, 204 is now arriving at Bryson. How are things going, Atrimi? Are you there? I am, I am. Just muted. Almost fully sorted. Oh, I see. I see. Good, good, good.
There we go. Perfect. Okay, and 204 is heading to Hemingway. And uh, speaking of Hemingway, let's have a quick look into this area. Okay, so we got two cars ready for the interchange. We will collect them later. There's nothing ready here just yet. Passengers are being transported. Oh, finally, this car is ready for the interchange. going to be very very busy day tomorrow go
There we go. them in Fuck, I just realized that we could... Yeah, I could easily fit eight cars on this siding. go oh chat the battle is ready just give me a moment This one. And I can stop there. So then I can pick up those cars. There we go. And in the meantime, chat, I am impressed. Look at this. You, you assembled a crowd that I can't even catch within my spell. Absolutely amazing. Wonderful finish of today's Stream Raiders chat. Wow, just look at this. You pretty much wipe all the enemies. There's only 11 left, 10, 9, 8, 7. Wow, that, that goes down rapidly. 3. 2. 1. Last enemy, who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it? Rana Blue with with the rogue fantastic job. 
fantastic and outstanding performance. Chat. And that's how today's Stream Raiders adventure ends. There will be no more battles, at least today. I will be back tomorrow morning. So if you've been with me today for Stream Raiders, that's everything. Thank you very much. And if you came in to watch Ray Roder, there is still a few more minutes of the stream. There we go. I am now reversing to pick up those skeleton cars. Oops. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Forward 10. Oh my days. I forgot to throw the switch. I am silly. There we go. It is now fixed. Oh, and the timing is perfect because 204 arrived at Alarka Junction. Switch here. Oh, and Twitch is going to start at in a second. Yeah, there we go. For a second there, I thought 401 is departing. Oh no, uh, okay. It's not departing, but it was moving. I, I, I thought that 401 is moving. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. go you're clear oh so that's how you did <laughs> I 
I have my way. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> we both switched the the, the thing. <laughs> oh no! I haven't switched anything. Oh, then I did. Maybe I did. I clicked twice. Maybe. Maybe. That that happens to me often on my own map. Close and uh, there is some break, and I can reverse oh, 15. There we go. We can now throw that switch. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, we have just a few last bits to finish. So I need to run around this passenger train. We won't be starting it just yet. That is something for tomorrow's episode. I also got 202 heading from Connelly to Whittier. And in the meantime, Atrimi is finishing up at Dillsborough. So tomorrow morning, I will be able to dispatch for one. There you go, you have a 1900 ton train ready to go. <laughs> Is it only 1900? Yeah, 69 cars though, nice. Good, push it into the siding so that it won't obstruct anything. Uh, that's not possible. <laughs> what do you mean it's not possible? possible the train is uh, is on the main line from one side and the other <laughs> oh my days uh, i did thought you were gonna send the train away <laughs> well i would have if you wouldn't be so slow <laughs> nah this has to wait for tomorrow uh, it it won't make it to wait here uh, I got, yeah, I got about 20 minutes before I have to go to work, so, yeah, you know, uh, I'm just what? wrapping up last few bits, literally, and, and, and that's it. It is on the main line, although it's not bothering anyone yet. It won't be. Yeah, that's a big boy. And could have been longer if we got all the cards we needed, we needed to have for the day. Yeah, but then it would be a bit too heavy. <laughs> Although it's a downhill, so on downhill you can pretty much go without any limits. Just have to be careful about the brakes though. What? It's an air brake, so like as long as the compressor can supply them with air, it's fine. It, it will just take yeah. ages to release them. Yeah, but, but applying I did brakes have some, isn't that hard. Um, AI engineer running over some fuses because they couldn't brake in time. <laughs> I mean, AI engineer is not the best if they want to run heavy things. Spoiler alert, it requires a lot of skill to stop things oh, at yeah. exact spots when things are a bit too heavy. It's 
So, you know, you need a player to run it if you want to run it super heavy. At least downhill. Uphill, uh, obviously, AI engineer is better than any player. That's without a doubt. Right, chat. We got 202 ready to push these cars in here. So let's just do it. And let's set the switches. So the main line is open. go Perfect. Chat, with that pleasant accent, uh, we will finish today's stream. Yes. Perfect. Right, chat. So, we have finished the previous day. We delivered heavy freight train to Silva. Uh, we managed to sort out things around uh, Silva, at least for the first servicing of the interchange. And there's going to be a second one. And from now on, the operations will be as follow. Heavy trains will be assembled at Dillsboro at the yard from where they will be picked up and delivered towards Whittier, Bryson, Alarca. Later on, uh, it will be also, uh, what is that? Andrews, I believe. Yes, I, I think Andrews is the next big junction. Well, technically Nantahala, but uh, no, that, that's going to be Andrews, where we will sort things out and send towards Nantahala and, and stuff like that. So there's going to be multiple trains running in the future. And help will be needed. So I'd like to remind everyone that this is an open session. And if you want to join these operations and put your part and have your part in greatness of this railway then obviously you can do so uh, all you have to do is to join my discord server link is down below the player and join me during live stream when the server is up and then we will try to run it together uh, today i've been joined by atrimi thank you very much for for doing so uh, 
in the past, uh, I've also been joined by Tankist. However, today he, he didn't make it. Uh, hopefully, tomorrow, uh, both of them will be able to, to join me and we will have a lot of work, chat. We will have a lot of work. So, yeah, uh, stick around and, and join me tomorrow morning. And as for today, uh, let's see if I can find someone who we can actually raid. Uh, we, we might actually do so. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who should we raid. Ah, it's always the same problem, chat. I always got the same problem. Okay. Uh, no one streams from here. Oh, I see. Hmm. Chat, who should we? <laughs> Let me just have a look at this person. Ooh. Blah blah. Okay, this seems like an English dream. Okay. Okay, chat. Okay. We can do a raid. We can do a raid. However, the topic will be slightly different. So if, if you came around only for railroader, then I'm afraid. We will be jumping to Pal World. Yes, uh, the next streamer is streaming Pal World. So if you like this topic, then stick around. I'm gone. There we go. Also. Uh, I, I still haven't figured out any any like a uh, raid message. Does anyone have any ideas? I I, I have no clue what to what to do. But let's let's do the raid. Yes, let's do the raid. Nah, I, I'm not running an army here. I'm bringing a passengers. I'm bringing some extra passengers, chat. There we go.
There we go, chats. There we go. And the raid starts.